Moving on with our SA Designs program, the Free State SA Designs team returns to Forisburg, this time to test the political temperature ahead of the August the 3rd poll. Lungani Mguni is standing by with some of the parties there contesting the local government elections. Let's go live to Lungani Mguni, uh, who is in Forisburg. Good morning to you, Lungani. Just give us an update and some clarity on where exactly Forisburg is and what that uh, part of the, uh, of the country is like. Uh, very good morning, Abigail, and very good morning to our viewers at home. Yes, Abigail, we're here in Freesburg, in the Eastern Free State, where we noted uh, a place uh, that, that is highly contested, as we know we are building up to the local government elections of 2016. Yes, uh, upon uh, the two months that we've been here uh, before, we did note that uh, there was a kind of backlog in service delivery. Uh, people are f uh, struggling to get basic services uh, from the municipalities, as promised uh, before in their manifestos. But with me here, uh, Abigail, today, I have the two contesters of this uh, uh, section of Freesburg, which is Mr. Chaf from the DA and Sila Musia from the EFF who will further give us an insight as to the ongoings of this uh, area and into political uh, straits of readiness as we are building closer to the local government elections just to get them to give us an uh, insight as to what challenges are they uh, seeing in this, pol uh, in this uh, area and what change will they bring about should they take the helm uh, after the 3rd of August. Uh, I'll start off with Mr. Sela Musia from the EFF. A very good morning, sir. Could you please tell us as the EFF, uh, what is the state of readiness as we know we are drawing closer to the local government elections and what challenges have you noted within your municipality and what change will you bring about should you guys uh, be the uh, held the helm uh, after the 3rd of August? Yes, uh, uh, the, the first problem that we are still facing is uh, our, our service delivery are going down instead can be go up. The first problem is that the, uh, the water is still facing the serious problem of water. The second uh, uh, problem is the size. Our people are still struggling with their size. The third problem is the job, uh, job creation. You know, we have a lot of people that are losing their lives in, in municipality. They are not working there anymore, but they, they didn't replace the, the people to be work there. And then the fourth thing, you know, our people are still evicted. You know, so under this government, so I think it's the it's the main challenge is those things to can be see how we can resolve these problems. You know? Okay, as the AFF, so what are you guys bringing about? What are you offering the people? Should the people vote for you come the local government elections? As, as I mentioned, those 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 uh, four problems. I am saying about, uh, we are talking about of the water. Uh, is, is, is the first thing that we, we said we have to uh, make sure that people they, they receive the water. And then the second thing is the site that the people must be have their site the way they wanna stay. You know. The fourth thing is the job creation can be how you can be create the jobs. But to can be explained to those things is gonna take me a long. To can be explained to you that how do you gonna be create those things. You know? Okay, just to put you on the spot there. So we know that uh, the candidate list and mayoral candidate list were going out. So are your people of VFF happy with the final list and are they happy with what is going on uh, the, the elected candidates? Yes, we, we, we are happy about it, although you have some problems somewhere there, but I think so for 90% of the things we are happy about of, about of the, 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 the candidates and all that. Our candidates are ready, it can be done the job so far, we don't have any problem. Thank you very much there, Mr. Silo, telling us that uh, as the AFF, they are ready to contest this municipality and they have noticed all the challenges and the change that they ought to bring about should they take the helm after the local government elections. Uh, with me again, I have uh, Mr. Chaf Tamukwena, who is the a DA candidate, who will further tell us as to what, as the DA, what are they offering the people and what challenges are they seeing as the people and what change will they bring about to the community of Freesburg. A very good morning, sir. Just on that point, could you please give us your view and the insights as to that? Thank you very much. Um, let me start by, uh, by greeting South Africans wherever they are. Good morning, South Africans. Yeah, as the Democratic Party, Democratic Alliance, we are, we are ready for these elections. We are saying our people must vote for DA for three reasons, really. The first one is, as DA, we are going to stop corruption. And... How are we going to stop corruption as DA in government, in local government, but in particular is that um, the tendering processes are open for public scrutiny in DA. Secondly, we are going to stop corruption by ensuring that the municipal public, the municipal public accounts committee, as and when we are elected into government, is not going to be chaired by a person from the DA, we are going to have an opposition to chair that particular portfolio. Because, in fairness, you can't be a player and a referee at the same time. Now, we'll need another party to deal with that particular office in ensuring that ourselves, we are accountable, as and when we come into that particular space. We are going to give our people better services. You see, 
the problem with the present system is that infrastructure that is there is not maintained. Simple roads. You have tarred roads in some of these areas, but because of lack of maintenance, uh, in your former, can I say, in the CBDs on of our towns throughout the Dishabe, tarred roads there are retrogressing, uh, potholes, not good service is done, and quality service is done onto them when they, when they are closed up, they open up time and X. So we are saying as DA, we are going to maintain that. We are going to go into townships where our people are living and ensure that we put in better roads. You see, days of gravel roads being maintained, we don't want to maintain gravel roads. We want pavings or we want your tart roads in the townships. Okay. Uh, being here, sir, for the past two months, we did note that uh, the level of service delivery in terms of housing and sanitation, we did note a big problem to that. Uh, as the opposing party, how do you guys go about in addressing these issues with the ruling parties in the municipalities? Um, <clears throat> when you talk about sewage, for instance, ne? I'll take you to a place when we move from here. And on the western side of this township, I'm going to show you a a, 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 a um, reticulation dam mm. that is overflowing into a rivulet that goes into areas down the downstream that is going to affect people who are using the water from that particular river. Now I'm saying under DA, such things won't happen because um, polluti pollution of water and all those things it's a waste of taxpayers' money at the end of the day. And it affects lives. Understandably so, sir. Telling us there of the problems that they have noticed at the opposition parties, we know that this municipality will be highly contested and uh, we will give a uh, full update on what the on current ongoings earlier or later on in the evening. Uh, going back to you guys in studio. Well, thanks very much, uh, Lungani, for the update. ANN7's SA Decides reporter Lungani Mguni live from Forisburg chatting there uh, to both a representative of the EFF and the Democratic Alliance. EFF saying that they will focus on issues uh, of water delivery and also issues of job uh, security there in the Forisburg area. While the Democratic Alliance very much focused on uh, excluding and getting rid of corruption and also talking about the maintenance of infrastructure. Lungani will keep us up to date. Moving on with